wish to complain about this parrot I purchased? The Norwegian Blue? What's wrong with it? It's dead, that's what's wrong with it. No, no, he's resting. Look, you motherfucker. Birds don't rest that way. I would know fully well how we rest, okay? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. I'm your host for the evening. The insult British master known as Falcon. You heard me correct? You're, you're thinking, oh yeah, well, what is this wanker over here going to talk to me about British insults? Well, let me tell you right now, I've been brushing up on my British insult comedy, man. I've been using the phrase, taking the piss more often than not. And normally when the British viewers hear me say that, they make fun of me because they're thinking, Falcon, you don't know how to use that word or that phrasing. You only say it because you really enjoy saying taking the piss. And you know what? You're damn right I do. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, this is going to help me get my British insult lingo up. So without further ado, let's get into the game over here. If you enjoy what you see here today as well, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. Let's me know what you guys are enjoying, what you guys want to see more of on the channel, so on and so forth. So right now we're going to go... No, no, not, not a human. I got to insult the CPU, dog. Uh, I don't have any friends to play with another human. So let's go into an instant argument sounds about right. I took the learn to insult class already, so I think I'll be okay. Now this is my protagonist, everybody else seems to be locked, although, let's see, Sir Knight. Sir Knight, at your service. Okay, Th thanks a lot for telling me that, Sir Knight. Uh, kids these days, TV, rap music, video games. He was more important, he has more important matters in his mind than keeping up with infantile new technology, fashion, and language. Reading Shakespeare's latest book, Winding Clocks, treating his urinary incontinence, but everything changes when he realizes that kids look jealously at his old-fashioned clothes. At that moment, he decides to become a hipster. Oh, <laughs> you know damn right he will. Um, he cannot keep up with the modern times. This is actually really important because all of your opponents have like their own uh, subject that they're very touchy on. So if you actually aim at that subject they're very touchy on, you get more multipliers to your insult bonus and stuff like that. So it's actually very good to know about Sir Knight over here. Mrs. Maggie. You can call me Mrs. Maggie, love. You got it, love. Uh, she's been th she's seen things you pr uh, you people wouldn't believe. She fought wars, flirted with two presidents, composed a score for a naughty film, <laughs> owned an arcade, and got stoned at the 20th anniversary of her menopause. Like, does it mean she got pelted with rocks, or does it mean she you know took a little bit of the reefer? I don't know. For 10 years she was in a gang and just recently retired. All these moments were lo lost in time, like tears and rain. This woman's a baller, dude. Her days are numbered, so debt scares the hell out of her and it offends her as well. You know what? Let's go with Mrs. Maggie. Everything about her sounds really good. Let's go with Mrs. Maggie over here. So let's proceed. That's going to be my dude. Aldershaw. Ah! Or my female, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Damn right, Mrs. Maggie's my female. And we have to pick a scenario. All right, so we have a pet shop. We got to go to the pet shop, right? That's where Falcon lives. We'll go right there. Proceed. I wish to complain about this parrot I purchased. The Norwegian Blue? What's wrong with it? It's dead, that's what's wrong with it. No, no, he's resting. Hmm. Look, you motherfucker. Birds don't rest that way. I would know fully well how we rest, okay? Anyway, so now he is the... Can I pause this momentarily? I can. He's the owner of the pet shop, and now because of this issue that we had, we're going to start launching insults at each other. We build them word by word or phrase by phrase, and you got to use proper grammar as well. And then you launch them, you want to go after stuff that really offends them. And if you can build something together, you want to come down over here where you see this little teacup. You click that, and it'll give you a different set of words. And then, you know, you take rounds doing that until somebody loses all of their, uh, I guess, respect completely here. So that's a, big, a bit of a rundown. So... Let's start off over here with, um, your hat. Let's go after his hat hmm. first. Because he's bald, you know, so he probably takes really big pride in his hat to cover his bald spot. Your hat, by the way, the ellipses are to skip a turn in case you can't pick something out here. Your hat was born in... Mm -hmm. This place stocked. By the way, sir, this is your own store. Why are you insulting the place that you work at that you probably even own? Your hat was born in... A hamster! Oh my god! <laughs> that hamster gave birth to his hat. Your hat was born in a hamster? And... This place stalked your mother. 
He's holding on, he has nothing to go with right now. Your head was born in a hamster and has bad bread? Or is it very naughty? Oh. Oh, <laughs> let's go with that one. Yeah. You have a very naughty hat, sir. And it's still my turn because you decided to wait in the next round, huh? Um, let's see. We could continue this phrase or we could just launch it now and see what that does for us. Um, your hat was born in a hamster. It's very naughty. Let me skip. This place stalked your mother. Ooh. Hmm. You think that bothers me, huh? Mm. You can stalk my mama all at once. Your hat was born in a hamster. It's very naughty. Um. And it's very naughty. And I see a silly down here is one of my wild cards, so we could probably go with that one. So we're basically trying to get a lot of insults in one single phrase to basically combo up the damage we'll be doing here. And it's an old bugger. I mean, he's worried about the modern times, right? So he might feel outdated. That might be pretty good. Let's actually... It's, it's an old bugger. Um, I want to say end is silly, but I think this will basically wipe this out. So let's just launch this one now. It's going to wild card it out. Your husband wanted to be you. Ah, uh, your hat was born in... A hamster and is very naughty and is an old bugger. Ah, oh, I was hoping we'd combo it up to something he really was offended by. It would give you like a rude multiplier. So that didn't really work out too well for us as much as I thought it would have. Okay, so let's see. Let's start off with your face. Yeah, it's always a good hmm. way to start an insult. As a matter of fact, it's a good way to start an insult and just end an insult. Hey, how you doing, Falcon? Your face. It's like, oh, Damn, dog, you're cutting me deep. Uh, your face makes me sick. Oh, <laughs> it's good already. What are, what are you talking about Mrs. Um, Alvarez for? You leave Mrs. Alvarez alone. She was a, an amazing math teacher. Probably wasn't because I'm really terrible at math now, so that, never mind. Insult her all you want. Your face makes me sick? Shit. I'm gonna skip that one there. Your face makes me sick. Mmm. Let's actually have this here. Because you are a spoiled brat. Hmm. I think that works. Your math teacher was a platypus. Ooh. Your face makes me sick because you're a spoiled brat. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah. And you know what? You have no right to talk about how Mrs. Alvarez looked like. If she wanted to look a platypus, that's probably her own decision in life. Uh, let's see here. Let's start off here with, um... Your house. Go after his house. You tell him my, my hat is a steaming romp with something? <laughs> it's actually kind of perverse. I might like a little bit. Uh, your house... Dances like, yeah, the dancing house that this man has. Oh my god, a romp with my sister, my hat. I don't think I want to see that anymore. Your house dances like a frightened schoolboy. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, and now he's taking a turn to the next one. Your house dances like a frightened schoolboy and is rude. Oh man, is he going to hate this one? Well, actually, let's actually have a cup of tea first here. And this conversation is rude. We'll do that. Yeah, just max everything out there. Launch it. Your house dances like a frightened schoolboy. And this conversation is rude. Uh, your hat has a steaming rump with your sister. Ah, uh, hmm. Alrighty, well played, Sir Knight. Let's see here. Um, your country, your mother. Let's go after his country now. Hmm. My sense of style. Alright, your country. What does this mean over here? Nudge, nudge, exclamation mark. I think that would end the sentence immediately. What, what is that nudge, nudge for? British people, tell me what does it mean? Is it implying sexual favors or something or what? Your country. 
Looks like a sad lemur. Ho ho! That's gotta sting. Your country looks like a sad lemur and... And is nudge nudge. <laughs> And dance is like, no, his his objects, his countries, and his houses need to stop dancing. So, and is nudge nudge. I'm going to go with that, I guess. I don't know. So, he's ready to launch. Uh, let's go ahead and, damn. What the hell is nudge nudge? Learn grammar. Ah. I don't know what it meant. I needed to try it out. And is... Oh, your son. Oh, man. I don't know how this man gave birth to a country, but he did. And it's actually very insulting. Your country looks like a sad lemur. And is your son. Ugh. Yeah. Your sense of style changes into your mother. Oh. Hmm. You know what? That shouldn't be a seven. That doesn't even make <laughs> sense. I mean, sure, you could say mine don't make any sense either, but still, come on. Fuck you, Sir Knight, you're playing the system here. Uh, let's see. Uh... Your cousin's car? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Go after his cousin now. My son stalked somebody. Oh, he was a creeper, I can't deny that. Your cousin's car has bad bread. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I wanted to use the paired one. Your cousin's car has bad bread? Mmm. Let's have some tea. And? Your cousin's car has bad bread and? Is dull and ugly? And doesn't like... A platypus. Now let's go with is dull and ugly. Mm. If we had a like, we could do like a platypus, but we don't have one. So let's go ahead and just launch this one. Your cousin's car has bad breath and is dull and ugly. Uh, your son stalked this parrot, you lying git. Ah. Uh, hmm. A Twelver? How about that? Okay. Coming down to the wire, huh? Okay, so let's see. Mmm. Oh, your sense of style, huh? Let's go with that one. Hmm. Your sense of style secretly adores. Mm, your sense of style is rude and is getting fat. Oh, <laughs> I, I want that one. Your sense of style is secretly rude. And... It's getting fat. I'm gonna go with that one right there. And was born in... Mm, could have been useful, but I got nothing to really match that up with. And it's getting fat. Maybe we could link that. Oh, he's drinking some tea. Let's see. I guess we could do the same. It's getting fat. No, we can't link it unless we use that, but that won't really do much for us. Unless we just want to go over to the next turn. We could do that. You secretly adore your house. Ooh. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I think it was some really amazing architecture <laughs> to my house. All right, Sir Knight. Your sense of style is rude and it's getting fat. And, got the one that we were looking for there. It's dull and ugly. Let's go with that one. Okay. That should help us out. Maybe we'll finally hit something rude. And it's dull and ugly. Some bloody Minga. <laughs> no, nothing over here, huh? Launch it. Your math teacher worked with your son. Ooh, your sense of style is rude and is getting fat and is dull and ugly. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't a rude one. For rude, you get 15 and higher. So that was pretty good. We got up to 13, though. He's almost out. Let's see. 
Uh, your wife, your father. Let's see. Let's go after his father, huh? Hmm. My wife, okay. Are you calling me a lesbian? There's nothing wrong with that, Sir Knight. Your father, uh, let's see. <laughs> it's diseased. Jesus Christ. Uh, your father was born in... Don't take a hamster. Okay, it's fine. Your father was born in... A public loo. Oh, dude. Yes. Don't take its vile or and. I want those. Your father was born in a public loo and is vile. Don't take its vile. As a matter of fact, I can say it's diseased as well, so it's not a big problem. Okay. Diseased or vile? I'm gonna go with vile. Okay. Let's, um, have this. It's vile. Hmm. I guess it's about it. Your father was born in a public loo and is vile. Ooh. Yeah! Your wife smells of a hamster, you tottering, full-born hedge pig. Ah, uh, will you replace the bloody parrot now? All right, then I will. I have plenty of them in the box. I want a live one or I'll be back to complain. And you don't want me coming back to complain. You know what, I'll be honest with you? That last one he launched cut me kind of deep. He called me like a hedge-born Sonic the Hedgehog or something. I already forgot what he called me. Like It was like a hedge-born pig or something. It was actually really good. But I went after his dad being vile. And a man of that sort of refined status would not like his father to be vile. I can tell you that right now. Anyway, that is all Sir the Insult Simulator. Um, I, let's see here. I wonder how you unlock the other bad boys over here. I would like to do that and see what these other dudes are all about. Hmm. I guess I could find out how to do that some way. Um, if you guys enjoy it, let me know, and we'll probably come back for another uh one here. But I just wanted to take this out for a spin, show you off what old Sir the Insult Simulator is all about. This should be available pretty soon. The date's been pushed back a few times, so I'm not really entirely sure what the actual date is now. But I'll have a link to the description down below to the story page itself if you want to follow it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.